Well, he's one of India's most well-known contemporary artists and you've been looking to catch a glimpse of Subodh Gupta's work. You needn't go very far. It's now in Delhi and called Line of Control and uses ordinary everyday vessels found in the Indian kitchen made of the very humble stainless steel. That, those, of course, glimpses of uh, that installation currently can be found in Delhi. And in fact, joining us on the program, we are very fortunate to have Subodh Gupta, the artist himself. Thanks very much, Subodh Gupta, for joining us. Now, you've even been called the Damien Hurst of Delhi. How do you respond to compliments like that? Actually, it's, uh, I'm hearing it for many years now. Huh. And uh, we're two different artists. And we work, our work is quite different from each other. Right. And, uh, but I can't stop people talking about yeah. what they wanted to speak. Now, your work, of course, uh, in uh, New Delhi, in, uh, in that mall after being exhibited in the West, it's now really back home, at least a sort of coming home feeling for you. What has that experience been like of having your work here in Delhi? Sorry? What's it been like to have it here in Delhi? What's been the response like? Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. I feel proud. I must uh, say that... Uh, uh, Hats off to Kiranadar Museum and mm. Mrs. Kiranadar, mm. uh, uh, whoever uh, she is very, very, uh, um, I mean, last few years, what she, she done to for the Indian contemporary art. Mm. Uh, and it's amazing. A normal people today mm. uh, with, can go with the family and kids mm. and able to see and access to the contemporary Indian art. Mm. And that's not happening in this country. So mm. I'm very proud about it mm. and I feel good about it because somewhere someone doing something like that. Right. We're also, of course, very glad to have people like you managing to exhibit your work here. But uh, given the, the mammoth size and the scale of this installation, getting it together would imagine meant that it had to be put together again over here. That, that must have been quite a mammoth task. It was told that the building itself also had to be reinforced. Were you sort of uh, ever in doubt about how it would be assembled together again? Yeah, but it's a, all uh, mechanism is there. Uh, it's not. Uh, uh, it's okay. It's a, no doubt. It's a uh, quite big task uh, to install and deinstall this particular work. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be easy. But of course, there is all mechanism is like that. You can take it apart and bring it apart together. Yeah. Right, that perhaps uh, for all fans across the world, they can of course see it as it sort of broke down and then put together again. But one last question, Subodh Gutta, before we let you go this uh, evening, a bit about this installation here. I've been reading so much about it and it talks about, uh, you know, all the write-ups talk about the contradictions that really make uh, India, the glass, both half full and half empty, quite literally. No, a line of control is basically a uh, work is about uh, when the whole world we are trying to put uh, uh, the power together mm. and trying to show okay, who powerful, more powerful for, mm. uh, from each other. Mm. And uh, uh, when, uh, when the conflict with uh, what we saw in the Hiroshima and the conflict between uh, our neighborhood country right. and when we talk about, ki, look, I will throw it. You remember six years ago when we talk about it, ki, if I throw a bomb, 25 right. million people right. will die, still we are 100 million. Mm. So when they, our, pol, uh, our politician, our leader, when they speak like that, mm. and the monster we're creating, this monster we're creating uh, uh, in this planet, in this earth, is going to destroy us in the end of the days. Uh, so that's why I said, ki, you don't have to put the line of control, what you're talking about, the real line of control. This right. is the line of control where you need to talk about it, mm. and you have to be control over here. To not to uh, uh, creating more atomic bomb and it's going to destroy us end of the day. And that is my uh, uh, main message in this particular work. Right, people should be in control, not lines drawn by them. And Hiroshima, of course, explaining that mushroom cloud type uh, structure. So, both Gupta, thanks very much. Pleasure having you on the program this evening. And all the very best, of course, with that installation. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.